Hi, welcome to the Northwest Carp and Angler's Diary fishing blog. For this episode, we're going to look at the Palomar knot. This is part two in my series on fishing knots. Now, the Palomar is a really strong knot, and it's probably one of the simplest there is to tie. I'll put a diagram on the right hand side of the screen in the middle, and I'll show you how to tie it right now. So, let's go to my board at home, and I'll try tying a piece of 40 pound braid to a swivel for you so you can see just how easy this knot is. It gives great knot strength and it's absolutely solid, one of the most reliable knots there is and so easy to tie. Let's take a look. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the Palomar knot. Now, I use this knot for tying to hooks and to swivels. It's exceptionally strong and definitely a knot you should be using because it won't let you down. Now, I've got a piece of braid and I've got a swivel and I'm going to tie the braid to that swivel. So, come through the eye of the swivel, like so, and then I'm going to go back on myself, so that the line's doubled. Okay. Now, you can just fold the braid over, and thread it through the eye of the swivel but I prefer to do it that way especially when it comes to hooks which have a much smaller eye so all we're going to do is we're going to tie an overhand knot in that okay and I'll put that down so you can see it okay and from there all we do we take the swivel and we thread it through the loop and we pull it tight okay that little piece of loop there you can tighten that down by grabbing the main line let the tag go grab the main line and pull it and there we go obviously you'd wet it on the way down I'm behind the camera so I can't do that and the tag end I'll take my braid scissors, cut the tag off, and there we go. One Paloma knot tied to a swivel, it's that easy. It's probably the easiest fishing knot to tie. It's got exceptionally high knot strength, and it's one of the few knots in fishing that really won't let you down. It's taken me a long time to get these knots down to a T and to use the right ones on your setup. You know, it's such a weak point. You really don't want to be using a strangulation knot like a blood knot or anything like that. The Palomar or the Grinner knot, two of the best knots going. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll be back with another video soon. Uh, this is the second in a series of three. I've covered the Palomar knot. I've done a shock leader knot. And coming next will be the Grinner knot. So stay tuned for that, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.